Hi everyone, I'm Deb Fall and welcome to Bonsai Girl. Today I'm going to be mixing up some um, soil. That's why I've got my mask on because it gets gets dusty. So let's get stuck in. Right, so what I've got here is you use it for chips, you know, get out of Poundland. I bought it originally for um, pot mesh, but I haven't got a sieve, so I use this instead to sieve my soil with. And get from Poundland, a pound obviously, and it's called Quick, Quicker Chips. So I just thought I'd show you that. And I've also got my old sieve, and I've got my bucket, what I collect me fine, in, fine stuff in, what I've sieved out. And I've also got me bucket here. It's already got some in, but I need more where I put me rough stuff. So what I do is it's riveted in corners, look. In all four corners. And what I do is I have two opposite corners like that. And then I put the bottom one up. And then I've got like a pocket like that you see like that and then what i do then is i put me and i've got perlite get my scoop and i pour it in like that one one scoop at a time and then i just Check it. I ain't got a lot of trees, so this is just it's right size for me. And then shake it, and then it's got all the big biggish particles in there, and then all the smaller particles are in there. So I check check it, and then when I've done, put it over me. over my box and I just undo the undo the bottom like that you see fasten it back up and then this check it few bits, undo it, and that's what I do. So that was one scoop. And the mixture oh, varies. Usually do I use this I use this as my measure. My Trowel, shovel. I use this, and so what I normally do is I normally do two perlite, two molar clay, and maybe one scoop of succulent cacti mix, a bit of organic stuff in. Oops, that one me. Yeah, bud, just falling out. Right, back in business. So I've, and I use molar clay, two molar clay, and just one succulent. And I've got some fine, fine pine bark. <clears throat> that don't need uh, sieving, it's already been sieved, so I just put, uh, maybe half a scoop in the of that in in there and then I just put a handful couple of handfuls of um, 
horticultural grit, you know, for extra drainage. Even though it's quite gritty anyway, I, uh, I just stick it in for extra grit. And also in my mix, although I haven't uh, got any spare at the moment, I use crushed up eggshell, you know, for a bit of food. I don't put a lot of that in, I just put a little bit in just to get a bit of a boost. So this is me, me makeshift sieve. See, and then there's all the fine stuff. Can't really see it because it's white and it's in a white bucket. You'll see it in a minute when I put. Uh, Alright, so that's me. Perlite. So I'll just put two of these in. I don't know if you can hear but it's raining outside. That's not uh, not new for you for UK. We get plenty of rain in winter and spring so I'll just shake that up like that put that just straight in because you know it's quite evenly it's quite even just shake give it a shake and then just like that go and it goes in there like that Next one, put another one in. If I had, if I had lots and lots of trees, then I'd, you know, then I'd probably have a seed. But because I, I ain't got lots of trees, I don't know exactly how many I've got, but I ain't got lots and lots and lots. So this amount of, so this little, my little sieve, is big enough for me. <coughs> yeah. So that's my two scoops of more clay. <coughs> right. So now I'm going to put the I'm going to use this because it's bit of organic stuff. I'll put a scoop of that in. You don't get much of this at left when it's uh, and it's been sieved because you know, there seems to be more fine stuff in this than <coughs> lumpy stuff. So just give that a shake, shake it up like that. Quite handy. Thinking about it, when I bought it, I bought the these this uh, drainage stuff. I originally bought it for screen, you know, for the bottom of your pots. But I got it home and looked at it and thought that maybe it all were a bit too, a bit too big for it. You know, stuff can fall out of it. Um, ants can get inside because it's quite big so you know I had them um, in my shed for a, a while 
and then realized when I needed to make some soil up I didn't have anything really to sieve with so I thought well I wonder if I could use this so you know it's like a little scoop as well but you know we're all in so that's me the cactus meat I'll, uh, I'll put some grit in now I'll sieve this grit as well because this grit's a bit uh, sandy I don't put a lot of grit in, it's quite gritty anyway, it's just for extra drainage. I mean grit doesn't hold water or anything like that, but it adds a bit more drain, drainage to the mineral And I didn't fully use a full scoop here, yeah, just about half a scoop. Not much. Get a check. I mean, it has got some, and it's got some uh, finer bits of grit in it. I'll just give that a check. There we go. Put it in. <coughs> so that's that. That's uh, we make we make shift sieve for mixing the soil with. And then put some cut. See, this is this is fine. I mean, this is quite gritty. I use this. Uh, I use this. I plant seeds in this. I use this for seeds, and I just recently we potted me. Uh, bamboo because it had got blown out of its pot with recent storms that we had and blew all its soil away so uh, I used some of this what I've got in a bag and yeah, we use it it's quite uh, gritty a bit too fine for you know putting in a bonsai pot because it's, there's a lot of fine stuff in it but I use that for me seeds and cuttings as well and you know cuttings so I just put one maybe just a little bit more for look there we go so this it's got all my fine, uh, all my stuff in. Can you see? All my stuff. All my fine stuff, my fine. Quite good. That's good. So, so just pour that in there. Pour that in. And that's then it actually finds stuff. I'll just uh, here a quick look at it now. As you can see, you see, it's quite, uh, it is quite gritty, but it's really fine. You know, it's good stuff. I mean, I don't throw it away, I reuse it. So that's my fine stuff. So I'll keep that in. 
in the back. So now, here we are, just take my little scoop out. So now I just mix this up. I mean, I probably could see this again. You know, because there is some fine stuff in it. But I think, yeah. I'm happy with that. It's uh, quite gritty. Yeah. Quite gritty. It's got plenty of drainage and plenty of stuff to soak water up in so I'm happy with that and you know that ain't done do much I've got that half a bucket so if I need any more I'll just have to mix some more up so I put my lid on over the one lid I've got a lid I'll find it. So that's me. Just leave that there. <coughs> Put that away. Very, very dusty. Just be a quick uh, and so that's mixing in the soil now I'm going to put me I'm going to fill my water can up and me with a bit of fertiliser in I use rain water I'll show you that Right, so, <clears throat> got my water, it's rain water, there's not much in, it, it don't collect as well as it does in my water box, but, you know, there's enough in for me, for what I need. I've got my little pot, my little watering can, I've had this a couple of years now, I had it bought for my birthday, red, my favourite colour, it's got a, it's got a bit in. So I'll be put I'm gonna fill that up. And this, you've probably been wondering what this is, it looks like washing up liquid. <laughs> it's in a washing up liquid bottle. It's rainwater and it's um it's got fertilizer in. Yeah. Fertilizer. I'm just checking it's not soapy water, because that's uh, soapy water. Let's check it. And it goes bubbly, can you see? So we're just checking that it will have accident bubbly. So that is fertiliser and it's a little strong. Water and fertiliser and it's a little strong on its own like that. So what I do is squirt a bit in. I mean it's it is weak, it's just too strong on its own like that. So pour some in. Put some in there and then fill it up. It probably could go faster. But it's, uh, I'll fill that up to you know, tip top. It's only a small can, but it's big enough. Big enough, it's big enough for my food, it's all in little pots. So that's my can filled up. So I'll put that there. Then this, this is my spray bottle. There's not much in it. I use it for my, for my succulents in the house. You know, and I put a bit of feed in this as well, you know, just to, 
called Elf Leaves. So I piled it to this in. And I keep this in house and I, I wait till it warms, you know, warms up and gets to room temperature. And then I use it. So I'll squirt a bit of iron in here. That's it. Well, we get plenty of rain here, and when I've done, I'll uh, put this back outside, take the lid off, and so it can collect more rainwater. I could actually do with another water box because the one I've got with amount of rain that, that we get here in the UK it fills up quick my water box and it's quite a big water box but it does fill up quick so I could do a like a half size water box and connect it connect them together so that I can get water. So that's why I've got this. I've got this as extra water collection so that I don't run out of rainwater. Although I do use me I do use tap water too for my other potted plants in garden with holes. Because if I use my rainwater on my big pots at near my front door then I'd end up with no rainwater and I like to use rainwater on the trees because I think it's best stuff to have rainwater. So that's my soil mixed up ready for when I start to repot stuff when it's not as um, you know when weather gets a bit better it's still cold up. See you there. And I've got me I know it's only a little jug, but I have got, I suppose I could, when it fills up a bit more, I could fill that up, put some of that in, and then I'll just have to fill it up. Time, yeah. I might do that, we'll see. So that is me, that's me, soil and water already. I'll leave me, I'll leave me can up there, leave it in here. I'll leave me, I'll leave that in here too all belongs in here. I'll put that back outside, take the lid off. Take the lid off now, then I won't forget. Take the lid off. Put that outside. And I'll do it now, because it's raining now. Uh, it's been raining all morning. Take that in the house. And... So that's, that was just a little video, just to show you what I do, what I do, you know, how I mix my soil up and my water, how I mix my water up, well, you know, collection. Uh, and that's it. So, thank you for watching. I'll just get my little remote. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Bye.